Hi, I'm Bill McLaughlin, Editor-in-Chief of Furniture Today. Welcome to this week's edition of Frontline Friday. You might be wondering why I'm standing here on a ladder. We're going to get to that in just a minute. You hear us talk a lot uh, at Furniture Today about the importance of in-store experience. But the key to in-store experience is first getting the customer in the store. And a lot of that has to do with the way that you position your business in the marketplace. Now, as most of you who watch this show regularly know, uh, I love to read and watch video and follow really bright marketing and leadership management professionals. And one of the people that I really enjoy following is Professor Scott Galloway from NYU's Stern School of Business. And he is an exceptionally perceptive a student of retail and student of society, student of technology. And uh, one of the things that he's been talking about recently is a concept called laddering. Notice the visual? Um, and the, the, the idea of laddering is a, a dual idea of positioning your company while simultaneously depositioning your competition. And I think this has real relevance to the furniture industry, but he explains it better than I do. So just check out this little clip. How do you make your cigarettes? We breed insect repellent, tobacco seeds, grow it, cut it, cure it, toast it. What? There you go. It. There you go. But everybody else's tobacco is toasted. No, everybody else's tobacco is poisonous. Lucky Strikes is toasted. Well, gentlemen, I don't think I have to tell you what you just witnessed here. I think you do. In my brand strategy course at NYU Stern, we talk about laddering, and that it's an attempt to deposition your competition by saying, we're this, they're this, and then figuring out what attribute you want to talk about that not only reflects you in a positive light, but just as importantly, depositions or sheds your competition in a negative light. Now, I think the relevance to the, of this uh, to the furniture industry is really significant at a time when the industry is being disrupted from a number of different areas, whether it's e-commerce players, direct sellers. Uh, there's a real effort right now, or there is a real need in the industry right now, for furniture stores to position themselves effectively against this new wave of competition. And one of those efforts, and, and one of the impacts that laddering can play there is to help position your store while simultaneously trying to deposition your competition. So I'd like you to think about ways that you could come up with strategies to position your store. I, I spent a couple minutes doing this and one of the positionings I can think of when I think of furniture stores is personal. This is something that a furniture store is, that's a something someone can get when they come to a furniture store that they can't get online, a personal experience. And simultaneously, the inverse of this is impersonal, something nobody wants to experience in their shopping experience. So take a couple minutes. Don't call it a homework assignment, just call it an exercise in making your business better. I would love to hear your ideas on how you're going to position your store and deposition your competition. Until next week, I'm Bill McLaughlin with Furniture Today, wishing you good business.